when you're most comfortable around people, when you're around family. That's how I knew that we had achieved that family status. So let's, let's run through a couple of, of curious highlights. We'll start with anything Josh Fogg really had to say. Um, curious voices, funny whistles. Um, also, does anyone know where the footballs are? Then there's Shane's indecipherable babble before a kickoff. Moving forward to Sam Alisea's trivia responses. Paul Revere, the president, if you didn't know. <laughs> Moving to Quinn's inability to stifle a deep and contagious Santa Claus style belly laugh at any point in time. Also, guys, where are the footballs? Does anyone know where the footballs are? Trey's sack dance. Walmart trays, please, for additional carries. And Darian simply yelling, figure it out. Also, does anyone know where the footballs are? And who could forget the man, the myth, the legend with oh so many nicknames? Tommy, Young Tommy, Tommy Z, T Zen, T Z, T E Z, T Z, Young T Z, and so on. Thank you. This was certainly a group to remember, and one that I will not forget. So now on to some awards. Our three captains this year uh, were young men who exemplified our core values of faith, respect, and determination every single day. I'm so proud of them and everything they've accomplished, and look forward to following them in the future with their college careers. So thank you to Trey, Darian, and Eric. This year we have two awards to, uh, to give out, and our first award is a coach's award. Uh, it's for uh, a young man who is a four-year senior, uh, and someone who in my first year I met as a, a little sophomore, and uh, when I tell you that he was more elbows and hips and bones than anything else, he certainly was. Uh, he was a guy I was a little nervous to put him on the field in my first year. In the time since, he has grown, he has matured, and he has become a leader. Uh, not just on the football field, but really in everything that we do here at school. Um, he's certainly someone that I make sure uh, to pull aside in practice, someone that I can have an honest conversation with, uh, coachable, is certainly something uh, he exemplifies. Certainly a hard worker, uh, most importantly, a great teammate. Someone I think that we can all strive to be like. So I'd like to thank Cole Winkleman for his four years of service. Army All-American Combine Participant, USA Today, New Hampshire All-State Player, 2017, 2017 Class C Player of the Year, 2017 Evergreen League Player of the Year, and likely two-time All-Evergreen Player. In two seasons at Tilpa School, Darren Davis has accumulated over 4,000 all-purpose yards while scoring 51 total touchdowns. Um, I will repeat that. Fourth, over 4,000 all-purpose yards and 51 touchdowns. That's everything from rushing, receiving,
kickoff and punt returns, interceptions for touchdowns. Um, I'm not sure what our records are, but if that isn't one, I'll leave my hat. We are fortunate, and have been fortunate, and I've been a little spoiled as a coach to have Gary for two years. Um, certainly a, a once in a generation type player for us here at school, and someone that um, I will not forget. Um, again, someone I look forward to uh, following uh, in his career beyond Tilton. Uh, and someone I look forward to uh, cheering on from this point forward. And uh, I'm sure you will all do the same. So congratulations to our MVP, Darren Davis. And finally, we'd like to present our coaches. 
board. Our team identified accountability as the focus for our season. Few players exemplify what it means to hold yourself accountable, one off in the team first at all times like this player. We switched to a position late in the season and she responded by putting her first Rams school on the board. She's, building, she's been building this program since she was a freshman and her passion for the sport showed in her commitment every single day. Every coach pray, prays for players with her kind of heart. So please join us in recognizing Katie Ruggles for this week. Um, for 
being support in, in all things cross country, um, and just for helping to put together the home the home races and for really being a, a rock in, in many different ways. And to all of you for coming to support us at our Lake Region Championship race, cross country is literally not used to having people support us. Um, when we were warming up, there were girls who were like, wait, there's people here? What do we do now? Right? So, so we're not used to having people come watch us, um, but we absolutely loved having you all there. All right, so on to, on to some awards. I'm going to start with most improved. And this goes to a person who really has grown a lot as a runner and is starting to embrace sort of what I would call the, the identity of, of being a runner. Um, and I actually started thinking about this person last year um, because in the spring season, I think the season just ended and she comes up to me and she's like, Miss Prizer, I went running today. And I'm like, great, that's awesome. Um, and you know, just her enthusiasm for, for running has really grown over the summer. Uh, she's consistently been the team's third or fourth runner overall, which is awesome, which means she's either scoring for us or she's displacing, so she's having a big impact there. And then I'd also say I've seen a, seen a big change in attitude. Last year, sometimes I'd come around the corner, or I'd come around and it would be like, okay, this is cross country, like, we need to be running now. Um, I'm constantly doing this, this reminder of like, hey, running, that's what we're doing. Um, but this year, she's always been working hard. She wants to succeed. She pushes herself. She's really, really dedicated. Um, she's had some ups and downs in her season, but ultimately, I believe she improved by, by almost a minute. And I'd like to give the most improved runner award because of her attitude and her progress as a runner to Jessica Chu. So my second award is the Coach's Award. This is going to another person who has also grown a lot, um, but, but in a different way. Um, I've really, really been impressed with this runner in terms of her leadership. Uh, this year she's, she's stepped it up. Um, she's been a positive team member. She's been encouraging her teammates. She's always been there when they, when they need someone during hard workouts. They're like, hey, you got this. We, we can do this. Um, she's been a great influence. She's been helpful about offering suggestions. She's the one that suggested that we start doing abs more frequently after we run. Um, she's been a great support. She also is a real force behind senior day. Um, I kind of threw out, okay, let's, let's have a senior day. And she was all over it and, and really helped pull that together. Um, I'm really excited to, to see how she grows next year as she is also the girls cross country captain for the 2000. 17, 2000, no, 2018, 2019 season. There we go. So, Amanda Crowley. Okay. I think we can probably all guess who the most valuable runner is going to be since she's been mentioned a number of times already. Um, so, right? It's, it's going to be Maddie Clark. Don't clap yet, I want to talk first. Um, Maddie really has been a force to, to be reckoned with on this team since she arrived at Tilton three years ago. Um, she's, been, she's been undefeated in the Lakes region for all three years for Tilton running career, as Chris has mentioned. Um, there were occasionally races where she, and Maddie's a very strategic racer, um, as just something I've noticed over the past couple of years. And there's times where um, she'll, she'll try to draw the other girl out and, and let the other girl think that she's going to beat Maddie, when well, that's ultimately not the case, but there have been times where I thought, oh my gosh, what, what is she doing out there? Um, but I always knew that she knew what she was doing, um, and that it was going to, that it was going to come out in her favor. Um, she's also a three-time Lakes Region Girls Cross Country Champion, which is, again, a force to be reckoned with. She's competitive, she's driven, and she's always up there setting the tone at races and inspiring her teammates, both as her success as a runner and as the captain. So, for all that she's done for the past three years, um, the most valuable player runner award goes to Maddie Clark.
Lastly, I just want to thank all the girls who are up here for running this year um, because I have so much enjoyed working with you and running. So there we go. We have uh, 15 runners and uh, runners across country. We had a couple of walkers. We had some JD runners. We had two part timers. Um, we had one who came to every practice and never actually ran one single step. <laughs> I'm going to call it just the varsity. Casey Cormier, Stephen Clock, Patrick Kiney, Cole Scott, Paul Watt, uh, Sam and Batu. Everyone I wanted to thank has been thanked, and so I'll thank you just one more time from my heart. Um, all the coaches here know you cannot do this without help. And the wonderful thing about Southern School is you ask and all sorts of volunteers come forward. So it's quite wonderful. We had a good season. Tilton School tends to finish in the middle of the pack and we were fourth of 19, so that's middle of the pack. I thought it was a great season though. We did win a power keg point quite easily. My first award is really a medal for the captain. So Casey's been our captain, and I thought he should be captain last year, and he's proved to be a wonderful asset to the team. Uh, he was involved in preseason, he planned almost all of it. He has far more patience with, say, Maple than I do. And <laughs> he's been wonderful, and I'm looking forward to next year. Thank you, Kate. My second is the most improved runner, and that will be Stephen Clark. Three reasons for our most improved. One is running. Two, leadership. And three is mental toughness has gone off the charts. Last year, Stephen, I think, was quite intimidated, and this year, he got out there and he got in the mix, as he likes to say, and he really went after certain places and after the goals that he wanted, so most improved runner is Stephen Clark. I have a coach's award, and it goes to Sam Hahn. So Sam has been here for four years. It seems like much longer. He's always there when I need him. He always has a smile on his face. Uh, like Casey, has tremendous patience. He was the informal captain of our uh, JV walking, I mean running crew. And uh, I, I owe him a lot. I, I look forward to doing basketball with next season where he will be just the same. Thank you very much, Sam. Before I do most valuable runner, uh, thank you to Mr. Santoro for getting this guy to come to Tilton School. Uh, much appreciated. Um, Patrick brings to the team this sort of this grit and perseverance that we like to see in all athletes. Um, he doesn't really need a coach. He's got his father and he's got himself, but he really knows how to run. I wouldn't dare say anything about his form or the way he goes about his running a race. He's just quite wonderful. On top of that, you've heard all the things he's done this season, but he's also a wonderful role model for the other runners. Uh, I thank him for that, and he's our most valuable runner easily. <laughs> As 
So Patrick's season is not over. He's qualified for the All-Star Race, which is all the divisions down in uh, South Borough, Mass. And he'll be going up against the best prep runners in uh, New England. And after that, he's going to do the Foot Locker Race in New York, which is also another showcase for runners. So if you see him, give him a pat on the back, wish him good luck. He does great things for the school, and he should make all of us proud. Thank you, boys. Thank you. Stay seated for one more second. I know everybody's super anxious to get to the buffet.